fight this week. Natalie, I know we didn't see you last year, but just how happy are you to be back out here on the LPGA Tour? Saw you last year, I guess it Dow. <laughs> I love golf. I love the LPGA. It's, um, it's no secret that um, when I joined the tour in 2001 that I wouldn't continue to play or to request an invite if I didn't absolutely love the game and love the tour. It's one of those things that there's nothing I can compare to it in my life. And I've had, you know, a lot of incredible things that I've gotten to do away from the golf course and, um, and opportunities, but nothing gets me that like anxious excitement, frustration, the way that playing professional golf does. I absolutely love it. And so I'm just so grateful to JM Eagle and to Outlier and um, for even having this event and having me be part of it. I can't wait to play, especially here in Southern California. <laughs> We, um, like I said, last saw you at Dow um, last year with Liz Nagel as your partner. What have you been up to since Dow last year? I know obviously now how, in LA. How much time do you have? <laughs> Plenty I, of time. You know that I wasn't doing nothing <laughs> and, uh, and being an idol. But um, I had back surgery at the beginning of last year. So I feel like the first quarter I was recovering from back surgery. Um, I have a women's own company called NR1 that um, works with DEI, which is a great conversation piece for JM Eagle, who you know, really believes in supporting the LPGA and supporting female athletes and pay equity by doubling the purse this week to, uh, to $3 million, which is just remarkable. I have a Boys and Girls Club in uh, Nevada, so a lot of time with um, the kids there and the events and, and fundraising. So that, that takes up tons of time with those. I still did a lot of corporate days. I did uh, play Dow. I had um, expectations of playing more events. I played some of the Aramco team series events, um, one in Saudi, one in New York. Those are, were great events. Um, but it did take longer than I thought. This is my fourth back surgery. They Anyone that's ever had a back issue or back surgery knows it does take um, take longer to uh, to come back than you expect. And I did play at Dow. I had so much fun playing in that event and um, I just wasn't ready to really play any other events. But I do, I am gonna play more events this year. And um, yeah, the tour is just doing so good. It's hard to not wanna play some of these events that are close to home. And we have almost five events. I think we have five events in California this year. <laughs> Really exciting. Maybe more. <laughs> I shouldn't have even said that. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Um, just got out of your pro-am. I mean, how's the golf course looking? How's the game feeling uh, for you out there at Wilshire? Wilshire Country Club is one of my favorite golf courses. It's one of those golf courses that you'd never get bored on. There's so many different shots that you have to hit. It's a really fun, cool club in, you know, right by West Hollywood slash LA and a couple miles from Beverly Hills. But the golf course has the fastest greens and they're really fun because there's a ton of break. Um, I have the same caddy that I've had any time I've played here when it was the LA Open and now the LA Championship. Course is in really good shape, especially since California has, it was really cold January and February and there's always water challenges here, but they, you know, the LPGA, when we come in, they seem to pull it all together and the course looks incredible. My game is okay. I'd like to say um, that it's great. I, not that I didn't work on it, but it's, it's not the same as when I was 20, right? Like it just, it's different. And I love the game so much more and I love working on it, but I don't hit all the same shots and hit high, high cut four irons and low cut four irons the way that I, I used to. Um, I mean, what, what are the keys, I guess, um, for this golf course? Obviously very familiar with it being an LA resident, um, know Wilshire very well. What, what's the key for you or maybe the key for the field when it comes to this golf course? Keeping the ball below the hole. I mean, the greens are really, really fast, and um, whoever watches this event is going to see it this week. If they say they're an 11 or a 12, they're probably a 15 if you're above the hole. Like, you have to barely tap it and hope you don't have a four-footer coming back. But it is a, it's a great shot maker's golf course. you got to be on the right side of the fairway to get to certain pin placements, so there is um, that aspect. It's just a really fun golf course, and it's fun for me, even in these first couple days, to be around the players because players love this golf course. They love the conditions of the greens, and it's fun to be, you know, right here in, in West Hollywood and, and JM Eagle has been, you know, an incredible partner to have an inaugural event like this and to roll out to the level that they have is really remarkable. Um, for those friends on the Zoom, let me know if you have a question in the chat and I'll call on you. Um, talking about your fellow fellow players out there, a lot of these girls probably looked up to you when they were a little bit younger. How, how cool is it for you to be here and see some of these players um, that were, I mean, obviously fans of yours um, back in your really height of your career? Well, not, I mean, it's amazing, right? Like to see players come up and say, oh, I, you know, 
watch this and this. I mean, there's no greater compliment, right? Like I am so grateful for the 20 plus years that I've had on the LPGA tour and the tournaments, number of tournaments that I've gotten to play. But to be around even Nelly Corda, right? Like Jess was a young player. I think I'd already been on tour seven, eight years when Jess came out. And I remember Nelly coming out to events when she was 11 or 12 and going in and playing at like a sister golf course or just having aspirations. And now, you know, to see where she is now. And one thing I didn't mention is one of the coolest things that happened last year was Stacy Lewis asked me to be the assistant captain of the U.S. Solheim Cup, which will be in Spain later this year. And that has taken up a good amount of time and also just an excitement, right? Like if now I'm starting to follow um, players that I normally wouldn't follow. I would just, if I saw one of my friends that was maybe in the mix, I would see how they're doing. But it's really fun to follow these young rookies and, and to see, you know, all the dynamics. I remember what it's like to be right on the cusp of trying to make the team or hoping you can make the team. And um, so that's been really cool. Awesome. It looks like we have a question on the Zoom from Amy Rogers. Amy, if you want to unmute your mic. Hey, Natalie, just curious with the back surgery you mentioned you went through, what sort of your preparation been like uh, to get back out there competing this week? Well, preparation is pretty similar to any sort of a start to a season. I did play uh, one event, a European event in Portugal. Um, but leading up to it, it's it's pretty similar. I mean, I don't. I have to get to the golf course maybe another 45 minutes before. And luckily, we have amazing physios and everything here. But my back feels amazing. But it's really that there's a lot of courses that I can't play anymore. I would have loved to play Palos Verdes. I, that would be a tougher golf course for me to play. Or some courses that have really tall rough, I have to be careful with. But I mean, here in... Um, you know, late April in Southern California, the weather's pretty perfect. So this is a, is a great spot. When it's cold, my back gets really tight. And it's definitely more challenging for me. All right, Amy, if that's all you have, well, um, let's go back to that Solheim question. I mean, what an honor um, to be asked to be an assistant captain um, under Stacey Lewis, obviously a colleague and a good friend, I imagine. How excited are you? I mean, that, that's a really cool opportunity, especially this year at Finca Cortez Inn. I mean, we're going to have a really solid team, it looks like, on the state side. Um, how, are, uh, how, how excited are you just to get started and all of that? Solheim, so I think I've played 660-something professional events. If I could go back at, like, what my, amongst my top five favorite events in my career, they were three Solheim Cups, representing your country, you know, representing your captain, representing your teammates and your peers that you respect so much, and then getting to play against Europe. It's just, it's one of the most incredible weeks. And now to get to see it from another side, it's, I didn't know what it was actually going to be like, whether it would be kind of those mixed feelings of like, gosh, I wish I was still playing versus, I mean, I think I'm even more excited. And Stacy has been incredible. Last night at the Pro-Am party, I think we spent at least an hour just talking about you know, all the all the things that you would expect the captains would be talking about um, pairings and players and, you know, players that won last week. And it just it's so cool to be part of it. And I can't wait to go to Spain in the fall. What are are there been any surprises to you? I mean, obviously, having been a player, like you said, you don't really know what goes into the side of the captaincy captaincy. But have you uh, have you ever are there, were there any surprises, I guess, so far in the whole process? Well, I mean, I, I knew there was a lot of work to it, but I just didn't know how much involvement you would know about. Like, I think I know more about these different players' games than they do, and probably even more so about my own golf game from the stats, and stacy has got so many incredible things, um, you know, that she's she's doing. But just now I'm following, you know, these players to see what their game's like, how they would match up, you know, spending a little bit extra time with them during tournament weeks. It's just been a really cool process, and I've always loved the process of anything that I've been involved in, whether it was starting a company or opening a Boys and Girls Club or seeing how an LPGA event is run, right? Like there's so many, so much more to what you originally see. And I think that the biggest surprise has been just really the, like getting to know these players and knowing more about their games than I would have expected to. 
So just to wrap it up here, obviously playing in front of kind of a hometown crowd this week. Um, do you have any fans, friends, family coming out to support you? And um, what are some of your goals for the week? Um, I have played a lot of uh, events throughout my career. So some of my my family and friends are like, we'll just we'll see how you play. Like, well, you know, we'll we'll watch, we'll watch it on, on TV. But usually the good ones, they usually come out and, uh, and trek around the, the golf course to, to watch. And this is a great spectating golf course, you know, because you can see so much from the clubhouse. So anybody that can come and watch it. It's a great way to see women's golf and to bring your family members because it's just a fun, cool vibe out here. But it's a really easy event to um, to watch. And um, my goals are always to compete, to have a, you know, to be in the mix. That's my favorite. It's my favorite thing. I wouldn't do it if it wasn't that I just love. I love the competitive side of golf. I love every part of having to uh, to compete. Perfect. Well, hey, good luck this week. I'm um, really excited to see you out there. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Oh, Did they talk too much? No, you were great. Yeah, you know, I have, uh... And I was one of those little girls that grew up watching you. So. Yeah. Uh, that's amazing. I, was... I um, yeah. It's